Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is Hugo, and today I will show you the new rear axle that I have made. Let's take a look. So, you'll see that it looks very similar to the front axle that I have shown in the last two videos, and that's because they are matching. So what that means is that the wheelbase is the same width and also same height. So if you were to connect this gear to the driving gear of the front axle, you will see that they're about the same height for the wheels and also the same width. So that's an advantage and I'll show you that later in the video. So now let's walk you through the functions. So as usual, we have independent suspension on both sides. The travel is greater than the front axle, but that's very common. See, it's two shock absorbers on each side. They are hard, so they can withstand a lot of weight. Next, we'll see the drive. So here we have a differential. It goes through and to each side. And next, we'll look at the lockable differential. That's this lever here. So right now it is locked, so both sides are spinning on at the same time. But if I unlock it, this will get out of the gear. And you'll see that if I spin this, only one side is really spinning. And if I hold this side, the other side will spin. That's just a property of a differential. But if I lock it again, you'll see that both sides are forced to turn at the same speed. Even if I hold one side like this, you'll see that it still spins. All right, that's it for the functions. Now, as an added bonus, this rear axle is heavy duty, and that means it will withstand a lot of pressure, a lot of stress. You'll see there's a lot of beams all over the place, a lot of strong connections, a lot of axles, especially in this area, which is um, the part that handles the most pressure. And if you were to use this in a very heavy vehicle or an RC vehicle, it will definitely withstand um, all the shock that you might go through. Now I will show you how the wheelbase is similar to the front axle. I will connect them together like so. You'll see now if I hold them parallel to each other, um, the wheel will be at the same height on both sides. and the width is also the same, so you can use them together on the same vehicle, definitely. So, I hope you like this one. I will also now show you something that I've been working on. This is a new front axle, which is similar to the previous one, except it will be a lot more stable and a lot sturdier. So you can see I'm using the dark gray connectors here for this for the steering, so that adds a lot of stability. I'm also using the system from the Lego Lamborghini Sion, which um, has pieces in between here near the driving axle with the universal joint. And I'm also using a double steering rack, so you can see one on this side, one on this side. So when I spin this, you can see them moving in opposite directions, and that's to add extra stability so this part will not move so i hope you like this rear axle i have already made the instructions and i will post them the following day that you see this video and they are complete i have made them a little bit better than the ones i made for the front axle so this should be easier to follow so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.